Do you want to add a wither sword into your Minecraft worlds? Well my name is Tastic Hat and in today's video I'll be showing you how to do just that. Starting off with the showcase of this weapon, we'll first have to add ourselves as the wither sword tag. Once added, all you'll have to do is crouch and you'll receive the sword. When attacking with the wither sword, it has a 50% chance to inflict the wither debuff onto enemies which can be adjusted later to make this more or less frequent. It's important to keep in mind that if you attack too fast with this weapon, sometimes it bugs out and does not teleport back to you, so when this happens, all you'll have to do is crouch and you'll receive the weapon once more. Moving on to the commands, I'll first head over to my command room where we'll be first covering the weapon's core function being given back to the player after use. Starting off, we place a repeat always active command ball as functionality to test for all players with the wither sword tag which have a wither sword in their inventory which will let off an output. Through this output we take this into a block and then a redstone torch with this torch activating an impulse needs redstone command block with its functionality to teleport the item immediately back to you when powered. Coming off the commands for a second we place a save structure block with its name set to wither sword with a size of 111 and also an offset set to 1. Once done you'll want to get a golden sword and get it down to its last durability by killing some mobs and then name it wither sword. As soon as you have done this, throw the sword into the box on top of the structure block and then click detect and save. Moving back to the redstone torch output, we take this into a load structure block with its name set to wither sword and offset to 1. Essentially every time this is powered it will summon a wither sword item on the ground which will be teleported to the player instantaneously. Moving on to the other side of our original command block, we take this output going into a block and then a redstone torch, with it next going into a dropper facing upwards and then a hopper on top of it. Taking an output out of the hopper, we take this into an impulse needs redstone command block with its function to give the closest entity in front of the player with it for a few seconds. Now heading back to the dropper, this is where you want to adjust your percentage chance for the wither to be inflicted with a wooden sword and two different wooden blocks meaning a 1 in 3 chance and a wooden sword and just one wooden block meaning a 50-50 chance. Onto the backup system in case the sword doesn't come back to you, we'll first place a repeat as active command block with its function to test when the player with the wither sword tag crouches, which will send an output for a redstone line into a load structure block and an impulse command block with their functions being identical from before. Finally, we place one final repeat as active command block to test for if the player already has the wither sword, so they won't be given multiple, sending an output for a piston locking the backup system when not needed. With that, you are done and if this tutorial helped you then be sure to like and subscribe and as always, stay creative.